Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. I have cleaned up all our chests, so we now just have a big gaping hole where our chest wall is, and we have a big gaping wall of drawers. For now, it's gonna slowly but surely reduce once we get some compacting drawers going, but for that, we need to run some vaults. Pseudocorpse is such a champ and such a nice dude, and he has given me two Echo Gems, which we need to make our Omega Pog so we can make the crafting grid. So we can do that right now. We can now make the perfect Echo Gem, and then we just need to make eight total Pogs. There we go. And we can then make the Echo Pog. It's not an Omega Pog, it's called an Echo Pog. That's the one. I've been calling this Omega Pogs. I think you can, isn't there an even higher tier of a Pog than this? There is not. I was confused. Okay, this is the Mega Pog that we make. Echo Pog is called. Okay. <laughs> now we can actually make our crafting grid. Awesome. So this means that we can now actually do crafts in here, which is super cool and it's going to be super amazing to do. And hopefully, maybe here, now it's going to work. But when I have this on normal auto selected and I go here and I try searching, see? It searches up top. So I don't know if this is a bug of some kind, but. I normally tend to search in JEI separate to the crafting grid, but currently the crafting grid takes precedence. Even if I put it on, if I put it on normal, we can search here, but then I have to tab, or even tab doesn't work. I have to go here to search here. And the generally, when it's auto-selected, if you clicked out of the thing, I need more chunks, more power. If you clicked in here, you typed, that was fine. And then you could click in here, and you can see the little thing on the bottom, and typing goes up top. So that's a little bit annoying. So I guess for the moment, we're gonna have it on JEI synchronized, and we can just look up something on JEI, put it on the left side here, and then we can shift click the recipes until we get it fixed. I don't know what is gonna fix it, and I don't know what the issue is specifically, but if you know, possibly let me know down in the comments. I had just enough to make three knowledge stars, and we're gonna just consume these, and then unlock double pouches. And we're gonna just grab the upgrades out of the pouches that we have right now. The scav pouch I wanna keep, so this one I'm not gonna be upgrading, it's just gonna stay as is. The other upgrades are just gonna be extracted, and now we can take two of these pouches and just upgrade them. <laughs> and it makes it, it makes it the color of the thing. Okay, interesting. All right, we're gonna have a green one, and a red one. Why not? These now have three upgrades inside, so we can put in the pickup and the two stacks, which means that we can now hold, I think, 512 items in each slot, so I can fit in many, many more items into each one of the pouches. And I'm now realizing I just crafted a pickup upgrade. It's not really that expensive. It's two chromatic iron or chromatic steel, and I have two extra left over now. <laughs> well, that's okay. We're gonna get more stuff anyway. Ooh, there's diamond ore in the walls. There's like diamond ore in the walls. Nice. Oh, uh, did you find one of the modded rooms? I don't know. It it or has it, it, it. It's looks like just a couple diamonds hmm. in the in the walls. I don't I don't know. I don't know if it has it has POIs, but there's no chests. So I'm assuming there's... Yeah, there's just diamond ore galore in the walls. This skull and the other uh, players were uh, noticing how rare diamonds were being if you don't have, like, a uh, void miner. Mm -hmm. And so they, they decided to make just a plain diamond room. Okay. Well, I guess I'm farming this a little bit. Right. I'm happy with a couple stacks of diamonds. Oh, I totally, <laughs> I see what I, I messed up. Uh, I don't have a, <laughs> okay. I need to make more stack upgrades. I made uh, double pouches and mm -hmm. in the, the pouch that has my, you know, the junk loot from the vault, the wood chunks and everything. Uh, that's my yeah. pr previous scav pouch, which has half of it is, uh, is for the scavs. And uh, mm -hmm. oh. it doesn't have any upgrades in it, any stack upgrades. So I, I just got chunks uh, in my inventory, and I'm like, why is there chunks in my inventory? I have upgrades. And uh, you just left them at home, kind of. Yep, kind of. Just. Well, I'm waiting in front of the door. Awesome. And I'm ready to eat a kiwi. 
I'm here. Hello. Uh, you picked up my uh, crate because my inventory is full of jewels. Well, I don't know which one's which because I have both. <laughs> it, it doesn't really matter. It's all random, anyways. Yeah. We can split. Uh, so we can split seize everything anyway. I'm just doing some vaults with Pseudocorp, and it's super fun. And he gave me a infused vault catalyst with extended, so it has plus one vault time. And I'm gonna add that to the crystal, and it's gonna get us, get us one negative which we'll see when we enter the vault. But this has completed the quest, so we get a reward of a vault catalyst, which we have to infuse in the crystal infusion table. So let's continue questing. We're going to make another vault artisan station, and then we're going to turn that into a modifier workbench, which is a thing that is used to modify stuff that I don't know yet. I'm going to read here. Allows you to craft guaranteed modifiers onto your gear, giving you a large amount of control in terms of creating specific builds. Some modifiers unlock via leveling, however, there are others that can be unlock only unlocked by finding a modifier archive within dungeons. Okay, awesome. So we have none unlocked, but we're, we, we will unlock them over time. The next thing that we're going to make is a wardrobe, which is a really cool thing where we can switch from our vault gear to... Our other gear. So, for example, I think you can place stuff in the hotbar as well. So, if we would wanted to, we could place everything here. Where can I put my? Uh, I guess we can put one of the pouches on my back, like that. And then I have space for the shield, the boots, and the trinket, and also a stack of kiwis. And now I'm keeping a stack of, or at least over a stack of blocks in my double pouch when I empty it, so we never run out of blocks in the vault. And I think now I can just, and this is an extra magnet that I can toss in one of the things, but if I want to, I can then just click on swap equipment, and we have everything. And then I swap back. Oh, I can't swap back. Because I have to put, oh no, okay. You can shift click to swap it. Okay, awesome. There we go. So now we have our vault hunting gear ready to go. The next thing in the quest line is a skill altar, and that requires three black chromatic steel, which I am not ready to invest into yet, so that is going to have to wait. The thing that I'm going to invest into is the transmogrification table, which is a quest right after this quest, and I'm assuming it's just interact with or pick up or whatever, and we can just pick it back up. So with this thing, we can just toss in all of our vault gear, and we can transmogrify it to a different thing. So I'm going to do the shield here to this one. I really like our Kitsune boots, so I'm going to keep that. We don't have Kitsune pants yet, but I think these Snow Wolf might look cool. And for the chest plate, we do have the Kitsune chest plate, so I'm going to take that. And as far as the helmet goes, we don't have anything that's really good and would fit with this, so I might just go with the Wither helmet. For the sword, though, I'm going to go with the crystallized blade because that one looks really cool. <laughs> so we kind of look like this now. <laughs> it's, it's kind of wonky. I like the Kitsune because it has a little tail. <laughs> That's really cool. We need a different helmet, though. I'm going to go with this. <laughs> it just looks so wonky. Oh, so wonky. We almost have the full cleric set, so I'm going to just run with that. We're just missing the boots, and I think it looks better. <laughs> I need ripped pages, empty jars, skeleton wishbones, and goblets. The goblets I, are probably going to be the ones I'm going to bail with. I need black mob essence, skeleton wishbone, blood vials, and earrings. So it's the gilded uh, omega thing. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. I can see I can see the wild mobs, yeah. Coin piles, lovely. I need coin piles too. Do I not? Yeah, I need blood vials. I think that was one, two. I got a green bangle if you need it. Uh nope, I don't need anything from coin piles. Okay. Is it the the village room with uh with a little basement area, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, wraiths. I haven't gotten a wraith yet. Oh, it's a gilded POI. Not bad. 
So I can. Uh, what did you need from Gilded's? Uh, I need earrings, which is the, the right, rarest cool. thing. So I'll see what I can get for us. Oh, this is ores that I didn't even notice. Come on, give me the skeleton wishbone. Oh, black opal. I need that for a bounty. I think I need one more. Well, nothing from that ore pile. I'm kind of just skipping wooden chests, even though they contain lots of good loot, but scavenging is more important. Hey, skeleton wishbone. You need that too, right? Yeah, we need a total of, I think it was five of them? Because you have, need two, right? I, I have one. Oh, which, you only need one? Yep, which I have now. Nice. Ooh, there was a creeper in here. Ooh, I'm about to die. Don't die. Hey, I got one of my goblets. Nice. Hey, I completed the bounty. Nice. Which is going to give me, I think, like 16 chromatic steel ingots, which is lovely. How many wishbones do you need? Uh, three. I have three. <laughs> Please. Yeah. So that's good. But there's more ores in this. It's just the giant uh, ore POI room, so... That is good. If you get lucky on getting those uh, earrings from the gilded, that's gonna be insane. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I got one of the earrings. Is that all you needed? Yep. Or do you need two? Okay, I got the earrings. Nice. That's so good. Still need one more <laughs> goblet. Okay. It's always weird because you 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 don't get the like most common thing or something, and you get three of the omega things. Yeah. That sometimes just happens. So all you need is the goblet or anything else? I need two empty jars from Ornates. Uh, I think I found a mine room. Nice! I think it's the one Although, with, the, with, the, they, with they, the ores, right? It has ores in the walls everywhere. Yeah. Does it have bad things? I think it's it doesn't, right? <laughs> I don't think so, but uh, but I believe it's it's because of like all the ore POIs in regular rooms, it's kind of been nerfed. Hmm. Oh, is this death? Oh, I think it's death. Can I dash like up here? Yep, it has a bunch of spawners with TNTs and all the things and death. Yep. Oh yeah, the the ornate room. Yeah, it, it has uh, gilded chests. Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah. I don't know why I kept saying the, the gilded room. Yeah. Okay, how does... I'm gonna just dash this way. And see I just got I my goblet. Can... Nice. Oh, I found a chromatic iron cave. <laughs> nice. I am getting a bunch of black mob essences for you. I, so. I'm already done with that. Oh, this, oh, never this mind. thing's it spawned <laughs> four burpees, chunkies. Why so many? Yeah, one of my empty jars. Okay. You need empty jars, right? Yes. I have two. I need three more. Oh, nice. I just need. We just need one more. Okay, cool. Ooh, ornates. Nice. Yes, I got the empty jar. Nice. And I got a saddlebag. <laughs> I'm going right, to be so in that room the... right now. Yeah, I'm here right now as well. Are you in the beginning room? or? No, I'm in the room that you told me to go to. And I'm at the bottom. Okay. Magnets off. Magnets off. Uh, you need the wishbones as well, right? Yes. Did I pick up the earrings? I did. Oh, we can't do it at the same time. Oh no, here we go. Oh, oh you should have been. <laughs> oh, I think they just pop out. Hey, toss it to me. Toss it to me. 
No, 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 Awesome. Because it teleported me out. <laughs> I, yep, yep, you you got that. everything, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Whew. Okay. Good thing we learned. Take your time. Wait for one another. Yep. And wait until each one has the last thing to submit. <laughs> In between cuts here, I did a little bit of a live stream. I streamed for around three-ish hours, and I ran some bolts with some patrons. You can check out the video down below. I don't have time right now to edit the entire thing into some highlights, but we had just a bunch of bolts and a bunch of fun, and it was great. And if you want to do that with me, patreon.com slash Breaker down in the description. Go check it out. In that time, we got all the way up to level 27, and we unlocked the third level of Bounty Hunter, so now we have full-on Fortunate and full-on Bounty Hunter, and I have no idea what we're gonna go do next. You can possibly give me some suggestions down below what we should take for the level 30 expertise. As far as our skills go, we have maxed out dash, we have two vein miners, I unlearned a couple heals because we were using too much mana to heal, and we have the regeneration trinket, which we don't need healing that much, so I just unlearned a bit of this. And we actually picked up some speed as well, and we have maxed out strength, which is lovely. So right now, I really don't know what to do with these two skill points. We could try going Hunter, because we did get one more thing in the live stream. We got another trinket. I have it on me. There it is. Uh, where's my other trinket, though? I think I put it in here. Did it not? I put it on here. There it is. Here's my regen trinket. And we also have the treasure goggles, which grants vision of chests and coin piles with their associated color in a nearby area around you. So what I'm thinking, since we were struggling with finding monoliths and everything like that, let's take an ability of Hunter, and we can put in two in here, and it's gonna give it a cooldown of 100 seconds. And we can spec it into the Observer for the Hunter, and that's gonna show us all the vault objectives in the 48 block radius, Every 100 seconds we can do that, so pretty much every room we loot we can pop it in, see if there's a monolith or if there's a turning point or a lodestone. Pretty much that's gonna solve a lot of our issues, and I need to find a key bind to bind this to. I bound it to the Y key, but we can't really show it off outside the vaults. And sadly, we are out of video time for today's episode. I really wanted to go run another vault with the treasure goggles and the new hunter ability, but I guess we'll do that first thing in the next episode. And with all that said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm really hoping that you did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. You can also subscribe to get notified of when new videos go live, and you can support me on Patreon as well if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.